Hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on the Hogwarts Great Hall. And so on the front of the quite large box here, we see the LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, the board that we have seen for a little while, and a picture of the set that there is with all the mini figs around, of course. And also Wizarding World down the, in the corner, and boat does not float. All the mini things listed there and recommended ages 9 through 14. Set number 75954 has 878 pieces. And it's on to the back part. See how it attaches to the Whopping Willow set. And also a couple of features of it and a couple of nice uh, scenario pictures and all. And yeah. Onto the instructor manual. On the front of the manual, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. After Lego Life with Harry in the center, after all the minifigs included in most of the sets. After the Fantastic Beast sets, which I'll be reviewing soon. And how it and uh, a Whomping Willow come together again. And, and then just the last steps of building. First of which is Harry Potter himself. Well, well, there's going to be some repetition in this minifig lineup because a lot of them have quite the same outfits. So Harry here, of which does have the tie of Gryffindor, of course, and has the dark brown wand, and there's his back torso print, also all right, and. A double side face, which is kind of common in most other sets, of course. And next to which is Ron Weasley, of which same torso print as Harry, of course, but also all of which are using mid leg or the short legs, you know, suiting to their young appearances in Sorcerer's Stone, of course. And then same face print as in a couple other sets. And next to which, Hermione Granger, of which same prints, same face print, everything, same as from in like the Quidditch match set. Next of which is Susan Bones, of which, once again, same prints and everything, but actually different tie of which suiting to that Hufflepuff, and of course, same hair, or a, the same rubbery hair piece that is kind of common as well, but except the back torso print of which, also the same, and also a different double side face, of course. And, and now to the less repetitive with Professor Caroli, of which does well capture in the appearance in Sorcerer's Stone, but however, who is exclusive to this, and first time ever having him since 2001, of course. Of course, has the newer turban piece, and also some nice back horse print, and also double side face well suiting to his, uh, or to that of Voldemort in this scene in Sorcerer's Stone, of course. And also, last of repetition is Draco Malfoy, which, well, the hairpiece and face print, same as from the uh, DMF series of it, 
and also similar torso print but with the green type of Gryffindor or I mean Slytherin of course and back torso print also the same and also has a good double side face of course. And then next to which is Professor McGonagall and and well not sure if this face print is correct but if it ain't then I can just find a different tie on brick link but that's how I kind of got it but not sure if yours does did too but whatever but besides that the torso the face print of which does still work for her and also so the, the front torso print and leg prints of which look great and back torso print also look great but also double side face oh actually I was wrong and just didn't notice right away okay, but yeah and of course holding the black wand of course then yeah and next to which is Albus Dumbledore his appearance in this one in this movie Sorcerer's Stone of course and his uh, torso print and leg prints of which also look great Off, get a better view. Also good. And for his face prints, also good. And there he is from the back, and his double side face, of course. And the next of which is Hagrid, which is also common in the Hagrid's Hut set and a couple others. And of course his arms being separate pieces than the other ones and holding the lantern and also pink umbrella, obviously. And there's his base print, also common in most sets. And there's from the back, of course. And last and certainly not least is a nearly headless Nick. And of course his torso print leg prints look great, of which well suiting to him. And of course this white and gray effect, also perfect for that of Moaning Myrtle, which they're doing in the next uh, CMF series, of course. And there's and his back torso print of which and also a, a good scare double side face of course but overall quite nice and also included with it is a new exclusive variant of the sorting hat whereas unlike previous versions where it was just the regular witch hat but with a printed face and the early version didn't have a face at all but this gold thing of which is Pretty much just perfection, and of course, can fit it on many thick heads, obviously. And I would say, brick built figure of it is of Black Phoenix. And although these use of pieces like this slope and the corner slope, so which done quite good to it, and although it would have been nice if there were some dots printed on the sides of the stud or of this uh, stud clip or whatever and also good use of this so at least he's all right of a build Billy's the one that's going to be in the uh, next CMF series which is a single piece which will work out as a little better as well and first for the actual main builds is the basilisk Oh, it's first time ever having him since 2002 for Chamber Secrets. It's set, of course. But whereas this version of which is quite small, like, of course, a few of the same pieces, and does move around smooth surface as well. Um, and yes, King get him in good poses, which one of the Fantastic Beasts ones also does. But although the top head part of it is quite heavy 
And also, as for the front part, which, which does, of course, have opening mouth, of course, and also does have a pair of things hanging down, well suiting to it. And, and the, uh, I think, head part of it, he has the transit yellow studs, of course, but although can, although you could also swap it with trans uh, red, representing when Fox clawed at the eyes and made it blind, of course. And of course, oh, it, Harry spears the sword went into the mouth, of course. But also the color scheme, or the color which is just black of which. But of course, in the movie, it is looked more dark green. It, I, if they ever did another version of the Basilisk, I would expect it to be in that dark green. And although, could have mixed that with black. And I guess that is it with that. Next to which is this a little boat, which is just a simple boat piece, although I do believe it could float if you tried, but whatever. But also, do get it. Also get one of the cone pieces and a rod that's holding a, a trans yellow minifig head representing another one, the lanterns, of course, and enough space to fit, or as the instructions oh, whoops, say, is put your head grid minifig into it, of course. Or, and of course, can fit many minifigs into it, obviously, representing when they are, are rowing right to Hogwarts. And lastly, of these side builds is the mirror that is shown in the main climax of Sorcerer's Stone. But of course, first time ever having this since the final challenge set in 2001. But a lot of good reflective stickers put on jagged slopes, and also regular shiny stickers on these long bricks, of course. And of course, center panel of which, and of course, you do get two different versions of it, and they're reversible, like this version of which is just with Harry and his dead parents, James and Lily, and you can take that out and swap around, and it's to that of Dumbledore with holding the pair of socks. And the second one of which, of which is some character with the broom and trophy. I don't know if you can see on camera. There we go. And also one of Coroli holding the Sorcerer's Stone. And I think I can get you a better view of that other bound if you didn't notice before. And that is about it with the side builds. And now into the main build itself, which is the Great Hall, of course. So the building techniques of which just about the same as from the other Hogwarts corridor sets. Like this like outer section. Oh wait. So a little bit of slopes representing rocky terrain and of course a lot of the like newer leaf pieces acting for foliage and also a ton of the this, like window pieces working nicely. And of course, but also we do get a ton of the like Naxo Knights uh, mini pyramid pieces, but in tan and uh, which used just nicely for that. And also do get a ton of the like upper barb pieces in tan as well as a bit in gray, also included in the Wampy Willow set. To which, oh, which good symmetry to them, well, except for the brick parts, of course. And this one area, which this little, also the same window pieces, but in a corner effect, kind of nice. But as for, also for this other area, which has a like 
plate sticking right out, but it's as a dock to put the boat near to it. Although in some in the instructions say you can attach the boat onto it if you want to. Although there's a good chance of it falling off if you have it hanging out on a shelf. And also you get a couple of the like corner pieces but in dark blue representing the uh, water of the lakes and all. And for this area we have a couple of the normal castle doors and also a like, printed dish piece it's with a little clock on it. And also one of the like ski pole pieces in sand green like the other quarter sets had. And the main tower of which good use of the like of these pieces also used in the Whopping Willow set and also the different kind of windows that uh, you can turn in and out. In this upper area, up part of the tower, of which great techniques, good snot with the cheese slopes and things. So there's all the same kind of effect that you'd find from like a rocket ship in like a but whatever. But also good you and also another good use of pieces is the like mini or microfig, nano figs or whatever are used as sculptures of course. And it turn the whole thing around and get a good glimpse of this interior. Like from the top part of the tower. <coughs> which does have those newer style bricks that have the like elegant design thing sticking out and also a little telescope podium that you can fit your fox figure onto it and also a little hanging area to fit the mirror onto it. And if you're restoring it, then in the middle center room, got one of the spire pieces, which is probably one of Sheila or Aragog's army, of course. And you get this little treasure chest, which is sitting on a jumper, of course. And it's full of gems that are of every color, of course. And also get another telescope piece, but as another podium to just to put the sorting hat onto. And then lower part of it have a little table with a couple of potions and also a few crystals, a couple of green ones in this uh, cauldron. And then the lower part of which has the staircases that have been used for a long time and swill them in which you can kind of use as the moving staircases this is and have a regular broom bit and also a couple open technicals to connect the whopping willow set to it and then as for the main part of which which has a couple more a few Jagged slopes at representing some bits of the fireplace there, and also good build of the like tables and the stools that there are. Although you can't have them all uh, sitting down on it for when they have the short legs, of course. You get some things around it like a little cupcake, a mug, a teapot, and of course, turkey chicken leg. and. But also get the newer owl piece, and in this case is representing Hedwig, obviously. And also you get, and also clips holding a broom in both brown and in black, and also the doors you can uh, swivel right open to enter the Great Hall, of course. And also, and if you notice the like technique beam up here is which is not just as support for this uh, little tower here, but it's also acting as a thing, something holding these Exoforce arms, holding rods that have the candles onto it, representing the floating candles, of course. And you get these long banners that, of course, are representing as two of the houses. So in this case, it's both Gryffindor and Slytherin. 
but also can flip them over and they're in the other two of which of which being Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. So good representing all four houses in this. And also just like in the clock tower set, which is Dumbledore's chair with the Nexo Knight's shield piece there. And of course table that has a couple of regular chairs and a couple of gauntlets and also do you get the newer mouse piece obviously. And a pair of other pinholes, probably so you can uh, use the different parts of the Walking Willow set or Clock Tower for that. And who knows what else could connect to that in the future. So, whereas, also forgot to mention is the main roof technique, of which is done quite nicely with the mini triangular piece brick pieces in the yeah. Let me get everything together. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think a great uh, Hogwarts representation of the set. Like it's of course representing scenes from both of the first two films, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. So like of course, first time of getting Coroli in a long time, and also first time of getting a headless nick, of course. There's Ennels, although the Basilisk could have done much better, but at least they'll probably do so eventually. We also do get a good assortment of figures that are, of course, from uh, three out of the four houses. Uh, but yeah. And also good techniques all around, and of course. And if you're looking to get this to add to the Hogwarts Corridor collection, like connect with the Whopping Willow and Clock Tower, then go ahead and get it. And if you, and if it's still available where you are, well, also go ahead and get it. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.